Nordic Kingdom, Kingdom Season 3, if you like, our Nordic Kingdom is getting built. We're doing really well. We've this is a guard house I'm standing beside, and I'll show you that getting built in just a few seconds' time. But we are, well, we're being actually invaded by some weirdos with pillager heads in black leather armor. How strange. They don't seem to be hitting us with their arrows. Maybe they're kind of leading us into some sort of trap. No, I don't think it's a trap. They're just really rubbish at firing with their crossbows. We can deflect them with our shields, and then we'll destroy them with our swords. We are, well, uh, oh, yeah. Welcome builders! Andy is Yori here. I love the little acting at the start of these. So, so much fun. We've built a watchtower. There's a tutorial on the watchtower if you want it. We've built a house and a pumpkin merchant's house and also a kelp merchant as well and a blacksmith. And in today's episode we're going to be building a harbour master's house, a guard house, a tavern and a sawmill. But we're starting with, today, we're starting with a carpenter's house. And big shout out to Gibby, whose design this is. And may I ask you to take a moment to hit that subscribe button because original content like this does take a long time to produce and it's with your support that we can continue. The Carpenter's House, couple of floors, nice fancy Nordic roof. And we're going to give this person, this carpenter, would be, it'd be an important job, I think, in the village. They would have a high status, someone who could do the joinery, the woodwork, build, mend, repair, and construct anything out of wood. So we're going to give them a huge backyard. Maybe this backyard or this workshop is a little too big. Let me know if you think it is in the comments. We're going to have some nice player heads, crafting benches, smithing tool benchy things, and plenty of player heads to represent all the blocks of wood in this amazing place. If you'd like to download my kingdom, Check it out at patreon.com forward slash Andy is Yoda. I'll be putting up a download for this today. Um, pretty nice house. Well done. Let's have a look inside this carpenter's house. So let's have a good look at the carpenter's house. Obviously a very... Oh, hello. <laughs> it's me. Obviously a very, very important build in the village. Someone who would be in charge of all the woodworking. I've given them a massive workshop. Maybe too big. Let me know if you think this is too big for a workshop. But I think it's an important job in the town. And you need a huge workshop. They've even got a little stove and so on. And we found some really gorgeous little blocks there. Some little player heads as well. So nice design from Gibby. He has designed this house. And we've got some really nice furnishing as well. White carpet on the floor, fireplace, some barrels. Things looking a bit higgledy-piggledy, which I like. I love the way uh, these little barrels are tiny. They're so cute. And then upstairs, we've got a frozen Gibby looking about, looking like he's about to... Where is he looking? I don't know what he's looking at. But um, another bed over there. And then upstairs, we've got a teeny tiny attic as well. And then over here, a little balcony as well. So there we go. Uh, that is the carpenter's house. Let's move on. So next up, we're going to have a, a guard's house or a barracks. I like to call it kind of a guard house because we're going to build it in kind of a bit of a tower. It's going to have about three different, three or four different levels, maybe even a basement as well. Just somewhere where you could overlook the harbour, an important trading area. You want to be secure. You want to watch out for bad guys trying to attack you. As you saw at the start of the video, there are some weird bad guys like Peshkatch and Karma attacking the village. Uh, just, just when you're least expecting it, to be honest. So we're building this guard house, and big shout out to Marsh Mallow Mate because this is his design. He's actually built a huge Nordic kind of hotel or massive mansion, and these round turrets were part of that. So we stole one of them, and uh, sorry, we got inspiration from one of them, and we've built this round guard tower with plenty of stripped spruce wood. We've also got stripped oak. We've got a bone block down below. And we've got some dark oak chocolate trapdoors as well as dark oak on the roof as well. So I'll take you uh, on a little tour inside our guardhouse, lighting it up with some nice, um, what are those things called? Oh, lanterns. <laughs> and adding in a, a few smidgens of extra detail with some stone brick walls and ochus woodus slabus. Yes, let's have a look on the inside. So there we go, we've got ourselves a bit of a guardhouse here. Now it's got a nice commanding view over the bay area and can, as you can see, three or four floors. We've also got a bit of storage underneath. We've got a bit of a basement here. Maybe this is somewhere you could have quick access to your armor, your swords and rush out and help to defend the port area here. 
Um, got some icicles hanging down from the roof as well. And as you can see, kind of three floors. We've got armor in this floor, spiral staircase going up as well. Maybe we could add some beds into one of these levels as well. So not completely finished in terms of furnishing. Definitely need to add some beds. What have we got? Uh, you're not allowed in here. Get out. Oh, uh, okay. Some sort of secret meeting where they're plan planning to destroy Yoda, I think. Definitely Sith in there. But anyway... What do you think of the guardhouse? Kind of an unusual design, maybe not in keeping with the rest of the town. I'm not sure. I actually quite like it, and it's good to have a guardhouse. Um, by the way, let me take you underwater into our kelp farm. We found the most perfectly preserved. It's incredible. It is a shipwreck. So we decided to build a crane. And shout out to Tronity, who's made this amazing crane design. And what we're going to do is try and raise up this shipwreck bit by bit using world edit and a lot of sponges although i started running around with a wet sponge which didn't really work we're trying to dry this out and soak up all the water um what do you think we should do with this shipwreck have you got some good ideas maybe we could make it into another boat maybe it could form the part of um a house or a new ship Anyway, we've raised the Titanic. Now we're on to the tavern. And as you can see, this tavern has stone brick and dead brainy coral foundations, kind of leveling everything off. And it's going to be, what sort of shape would you call this? Kind of a cross shape with two kind of round ends. Plenty of room inside the tavern for lots of tables and chairs. Kind of a bar area as well. And upstairs... We're going to have some room for accommodation. We won't have time to furnish this today, but we will have time to do live on camera with Andy and Yoda. I'm going to be doing the fireplace on the inside because we're going to have a huge chimney at one end of our tavern. So, by the way, if you're new to the series and new to my channel, I'm using the 5x5 Andy is Yoda building system where every upright is three blocks away from the next upright. And it lets you plan out the whole structure. Things to start with end up looking kind of flat and boring, but then you add lots of detail like a fancy roof, some trim with trap doors and fence gates. You can add different shaped roofs. You can even go off the 5x5 system to make some 7x7 seven seven sections if you want, or 9x9, nine nine. and I've gone kind of off the system to add this kind of round end as well. Um, so this is my design, actually, this tavern. This is one I invented, and uh, shout out to Blobman who was helping me build it here instead of doing his university work. So um, I hope you haven't fallen too far behind by helping me with this build, Blobman. Thank you so much. Very fancy Nordic-style roof, two round domey ends to this build provide a huge space on the inside for a beautiful kind of bar and tavern area maybe we should call it kind of a, a cross between a, a tavern and an inn as well because there's so much space adding in some dormer windows on the top a nice big kind of porch around the outside and there maybe we didn't catch it on camera well enough there is the giant chimney at the back and we're going to be doing the inside of that chimney in just a couple of seconds time we're building a little path and a walkway in two different directions, one through the harbour and one along the sort of side of the coast there. But there you go. What do you think of our tavern? Let's have a look on the inside. Okay, let's have a look at what we've done so far in the last couple of minutes. So this is the shipwreck here. Now, I think we could use this shipwreck. Maybe we could actually... What do you think? Could we base a large ship maybe built from the end of this shipwreck. Maybe we could. Beautiful crane design here by Tronity. Loving that. Over here is our tavern. As you can see, we're all still kind of working away and building this tavern. Nice walkway leading up to it. And then round here, we've got a round end to it. Uh, plenty of platforms, kind of a porch all the way around and a huge big chimney to provide a big roaring hot fire for all the weary travelers coming into the tavern. I put a little teeny tiny door down here and we haven't furnished this tavern at all. As you can see, it's very, very raw and just empty on the inside. What we have done is start furnishing it from the bottom up. So we've put a little basement in here. As you can see, I get everywhere in this place. We've got uh, plenty of big wine barrels and storage and um, just potions, brewing, <laughs> extra storage rooms. Oh, there's another room through here, I think, as well. Really sneaky little place indeed. Beautiful basement. Plenty of room upstairs in this place. Masses and masses of room. What I might do just now is come down and get... Oops, that's too far. 
get this, uh, yeah, this chimney here needs to be furnished on the inside. So how about we get that done right about now? I've taken off uh, shaders to get this done. So it's much, <laughs> so it's easier for you to see what I'm doing on the inside here. Uh, so that's the entrance to the basement there. So this is going to be where the fireplace is. So, hmm. Is that going to lead us to the outside? No, it doesn't. Does that lead us to the outside? Yes, it does. So that's got to stay. Fireplaces. These are great fun to do in Minecraft. I really do think so. So let's have a look and see what we've got to play with here. It's still really dark in here. Let's just add in, uh, so add in a torch or something so we can see exactly what we're doing. Some nice torches hanging about so we can see. Right, there we go. Lit the place up. What do we have here? Hmm, this is the upper floor. I think we should make this part of the chimney just coming across there like that on this floor. It's super dark up here now. Okay. Uh, does that need to be... That could be maybe be like that. Possible to have another fireplace up there. I'm not sure. I'm just going to concentrate on the one down below. So, let's put these blocks here. Let's take away these wooden blocks here. Now where does the chimney go up and come out? Is it right here with the hay? It looks like this is the way out of the chimney. So this is where we need to have the fire right about here. Oh, we're linking down into the... Nothing down here in this basement. That's great. We've got plenty of room to work. Awesome. I like that. Right. Let's make this all into stone. Huge fireplace. Live building. I like it when I have to build live instead of just Time lapse all the time. Here we go. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. I literally don't know what I'm going to do with this fireplace. So, um, but I like that. I like it to be spontaneous and random as possible. Um, where does that go? One, two, one, two, three, like that, and then that's going to go one, two, three, four, like that. There we go. Huge fireplace. This is absolutely massive. Love this. Love this. Right, let's have nether rack um, like this. Boom, boom, boom in the fire like that. And let's have campfires, or one campfire I think at the back for the smoke to go up as well. I'm going to bring that up there like that. So there's the smoke going to disappear up there. We're going to bring this round as if that is the chimney as well. That's going to all be lit up on fire. Right, now we can reach into our inventory and grab some of these stone bricks. We're going to go one and two, starting to surround the fireplace. Looking all right so far. Not too bad. Uh, let's bring this right along here, probably. Yeah, that's starting to look good. And then we'll just seal this up here. Trying to make things look even. And we're going to do that as well. And that and that. And there we go. There's a smoke. Not actually quite going out where we need it to go. It needs to be going out in this direction here. Hmm. Let's have a look. Can we live with this? Can we live with this? I think I can't. <laughs> so we're going to bring these out by one. And then divide this here. Put that there. And just block up the back of that chimney there. There we go. We've got the smoke potentially it might not get that far but potentially going out of the chimney like that so let's do something like that like that something like that not too bad and then we can do that yeah that looks all right what do you think i don't think i need to do too much more to this i might want to just turn them ah now that is a good that was a good move i like that move i like that move do i did need to do that or anything Possibly. Let's see what it looks like when it's lit up, this fireplace. Maybe this isn't my best work ever, but I'm kind of happy with that. Um, let's maybe bring this round. So it's just absolutely enormous. There we go. And maybe that could go like that. Like that. And then we really do have kind of a walk-in fireplace, which I like the look of. Very, very big indeed. I'm not sure about the basement having its entrance here. We might have to move the basement entrance to the other side. So we have a big, huge area around here to sit and enjoy the fire's warmth. So, Trinity, I think you built this kind of basement entrance here. Is there any way we could move the basement entrance over 
let's flip things around. Maybe the basement entrance could go in there and this room could be swapped to the other side. But there we go. Huge, enormous fire place. I'm just going to do that like that and then just that. I don't know. Did I need to do that? Maybe I didn't need to do that. But there we go. We have a huge, huge fireplace indeed. I think some wall blocks would look quite good just to hold things up a little bit. Maybe something like that. Would that hold everything up? Hmm, maybe I'm being a bit too pedantic now. Is this going to hold the roof up for us? Oh, do you know what? That looks all right. That looks not too bad. Really, with fireplaces, just make it up. If it looks good, then say, hey, this is my medieval fireplace, guys. What do you think? There we go. Love it. Hopefully you do as well. I'm just going to put those blocks in there. And we are done with the giant fireplace. Okay, well, our fireplace is complete. And now we're on to the harbour master's house. Uh, this is the person who would maybe be controlling kind of the storage in the harbour. Someone maybe who you would go to to store all your goods before they be put onto a ship or maybe goods could come off the ship and get stored in this house. So this is the house of Peshkatch, one of the VIPs on the server and it is his own actual design as well with a few tweaks from Tronity uh, to help him out with the roof. We started off with this kind of stone brick roof and we kind of uh, decided to change it up as well. We've also copied and pasted in some nice ice spikes as well and what we're going to do is link this harbour master's house to the ice spikes with kind of a little bit of a platform. As you can see we've changed the roof design to make it look a little bit more Nordic and uh, yeah this is going to be a little mini watch tower for the harbour master, that person, maybe the harbour master and their family could look out all over the harbour and make sure all the trades are fair. You can spot all the ships coming in and warn people and also make some storage on the underneath. So quick look around the harbour master's house. Harbour master has uh, his or her own watchtower here. Pretty cool. Can keep an eye on proceedings and maybe ships arriving and leaving. A cute little house indeed inside here. Plenty of room for storage, crafting bench, furnaces, beds and chests and so on. Nice little entryway up here. But the most important thing is plenty of storage for the harbour. Oh, by the way, some gorgeous little player heads we found out, we found representing the kind of ice blocks just sitting there, very cold. So yeah, huge amounts of storage in this place. Maybe somewhere where you could uh, maybe buy some storage, rent some storage, and keep things ready for trading and loading up on to the ships. So we dedicate this house to Peshkatch, one of the VIPs on the server. And a big shout out to him and his channel, his chess channel on Twitch. Search for Peshkatch on Twitch. P-E-S-H-K-A-C-H, Peshkatch. And that's his house. Okay, moving on. So now we're on to the last build of today and it is in fact our sawmill. So here we go. Now the sawmill is gonna be connected via canal this was my idea, along with Tronity's idea for this sawmill. Uh, so it was a mixture of Tronity's and my design. You can see him. I think that's Tronity right there. Maybe it's somebody else that's helping me. Um, we have a canal. Look, the trees are in the distance. Look how far away the trees are. So we need to float the logs along the canal or maybe use a barge or a boat to bring the logs along to our sawmill. So we're using the 5x5 five five technique to provide our uprights and our cross pieces and really design kind of a workshop, a processing area here in the foreground and in the background there you can see we're building what I would call the house, the grand house. Maybe this is the wood merchant, the person who cuts down all the trees, processes them all into planks and sells them to the rest of the town or even trades them by shipping them out to other kingdoms as well. That's the lore we're going with. Going with a dark oak slab roof to kind of our workshop production unloading area and using some nice spruce uprights for the house in the background. We have flooded the canal and it started to freeze almost immediately. So I've actually changed the biome in the very center of the canal to plains and hopefully that stops it freezing. But we want the ice to be freezing on the outside of the canal and kind of not freezing in the middle where we're going to be having our boats going up and down. Plenty of lanterns, 
we're using some of these uh, what, what are they called those stone grinder things to um, grind stones or something I don't know what they're called the, to I don't play survival that often <laughs> I keep forgetting the name of these blocks that's what's going to be used to unload the logs from the lake you can see one of the, the logs is actually in the lake but we're going to be suspending that and moving that a little bit later on so we're imagining that this isn't a powered sawmill but maybe we're using animal power uh, human power to move and power the pulleys and lift so it's a lift and pulley block and tackle set to lift these logs and shift them over huge house with a balcony and big sort of nordic high peaked roofs as well all around this place okay um what else can i say we've got a lot of living accommodation at the top a lot of space inside here how do we build it we've got bone block on the bottom floor we've got stripped birch for the kind of the, the floors above that we're using some uh very fancy dark oak stairs and slabs to provide some real amazing uh, patterns on the ends of the roof as well, uh, providing some oak slabs to act as balconies and plenty of trap doors to kind of wrap around the balconies to keep everyone safe. Using some iron bars to kind of lift that log up as well. You can see the whole of that canal really did freeze quite badly. Um, we've got some beacons in the foreground. You can just see the smoke, better view of them a little bit later on. We don't know what to do with the saw. Maybe I'll talk about the saw again a little bit later on, but what sort of saw will we have? A few dormer windows. Probably gonna add more to this. We're probably gonna add some sort of crane. Uh, there's a boat, by the way. I'll, I'll show you the boat in a bit more detail later on, but they've extended the canal. As you can see, it freezes so quickly. Uh, we're gonna be planting some more trees. We've also represented some tree stumps there as well and grown some more spruce trees, covered them in snow, made them blend in as well. So there's our forest. So there we go, our Nordic Kingdom expands. I'm gonna show you inside the sawmill very briefly. Something I didn't mention right from the very start was this giant ravine. Sorry, I forgot all about the ravine, but look at this place. I need your guys' suggestions in the comments. What should we put in this absolutely massive, massive ice crevice or ravine what should we put in there something's happening down there we've got some ideas being cooked up but uh look at this a huge crevice that we all fortunately we fell into at the start of the video what should go in there we need your answers hey have a look at this this is our sawmill there's something major missing from our sawmill and that's anything to saw with we've got a way of getting our logs off the boat and through and down into here but what should the saw should it just be a two-handed Two, like a two-person, two-handled saw, or should be we maybe having an animal-powered saw or something? I don't know. I don't really want to use steam or do anything steampunky or powered or anything like that. I want to keep it kind of Nordic and kind of primitive. Anyway, what do you think of this place? I love this kind of sawmill area, and it links nicely into what could maybe be a storage area in here, and then above you would have probably some accommodation uh, as well because the the roof spaces in the in these nordic builds are absolutely enormous i mean look at this look at this gorgeous space that you have in here beautiful what should be added next to our nordic town let us know and we shall get on and build it we've got a sawmill we've got a tavern we've got a harbor master we've got a wreck being brought out of the ocean we've got a nice big ice crevice a guard house and a carpenter's house all set for us to build as well oh also got a bit of a storage yard here as well, which I didn't notice that had been built earlier on as well. So there we go. Thank you for watching. Episode 2 will be with you in three or four days once we've built all the things that we need to build. Uh, and we're planning and building all the time on Twitch. Twitch.tv forward slash Andy is Yoda. And if you'd like to get downloads from me and join me on Discord and build with me on my server, then come on to play.usetheblocks.net and check out Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Andy Azura and I will see you next time. Ciao, ciao. And the blocks be with you.